Hello everyone, Dr. Anna here. Today to talk to you about what's happening with our hormones over our entire lifespan, okay? In our last video, I talked about how our hormones interact on a monthly basis, what they do, a little bit about where they act as far as our ovary and our uterus, and some of the master hormones that start the signaling process from our pituitary gland, and that is follicle-stimulating hormone, FSH, and LH, and how that triggers the cyclic ebb and flow of estrogen, progesterone, testosterone. So as we get older, our ovaries, for one, can become very resistant. And when we're born, we have a certain number of eggs, and that just decreases over our lifetime. Our ovaries become resistant, and the hormones, FSH and LH, have to be produced in higher numbers, kind of like shouting at the ovaries, hey, ovary, time to produce a follicle, let's go now. And that's why uh, when you're in the perimenopause or you want to become fertile, we as a gynecologist will check your FSH and LH hormones on cycle day three of your menstrual cycle, somewhere between cycle day two and four, but typically cycle day three of your menstrual cycle, the first day being the first day of your bleeding of your menstrual cycle. Because it should be really low, we should only need to um, whisper to get your ovaries to really function. So when we're in the perimenopause state, our FSH and LH are well above 20 or 30, and that really is indicating some ovarian resistance, even as much as an FSH of, of 10 or 15 is indicating a little bit of ovarian resistance. So that's checked by your blood, and that will kind of give you an idea if you're entering into perimenopause or starting to decline in your natural hormone production. There's a natural decline. We can't get away from it because there's, again, a finite number of eggs and that declines over time. So let me show you a little bit with this diagram kind of what's happening to our reproductive hormones. Now, our, uh, one of our key reproductive hormones is progesterone. And when we don't have healthy levels of progesterone in our menstrual cycle, we can have a symptoms of estrogen dominance. And what estrogen dominance means, it's typically the ratio of progesterone to estrogen is inverse or is insufficient. And we're getting the imbalanced symptoms such as mood swings, um, irritability, anxiety, feeling like we're crazy. Sometimes we get bloating and weight gain. We get some, um, skin conditions that can show up, as well as swelling in our lower extremities are all kinds of signs of estrogen dominance. On, from the uterine side point of things, you can get breakthrough bleeding and um, irregular periods, heavier periods, and that can also be part of that cycle when we start to see this inversion. Because progesterone levels, we'll start with a healthy level of progesterone levels through our reproductive years, but as we hit our 30s, we start to get this decline in progesterone level. Typically around mid 30s, 35, we'll have this decline. And so what's happening, because estrogen is also declining, typically a very feminine hormone, it also is declining as we age, but not as, as fast or as rapid as progesterone. In our mid 40s and mid 50s, we tend to get these crazy hormonal estrogen swings and that can cause those hot flashes, that craziness or lunacy, add in some palpitations, weight loss resistance. We're going through a transition phase, another metamorphosis. Like way back here, we had puberty. Way down here, we have perimenopause, menopause. Just another life cycle no worse than any others, <laughs> although it can feel like that in the transition. Now, testosterone hormone also declines as we age, just also very gradually um, through our life cycle. And DHEA, another hormone, both in, also in men and women, will also decline just like progesterone as we age. Our peak levels are typically in our 20s, for uh, DHEA and then a gradual decline. So as these hormones decline, what's happening here is this is this perimenopause stage where our periods can space out a lot more or shorten and it's just in a regular cycle and just kind of depends what's happening. But as we age, we'll go through this natural cycle so that we can enter this beautiful cycle here 
to become this gorgeous butterfly. We want to be the butterfly coming out of the, co the cocoon of the perimenopause and really soar into our transformative next stage. So um, balanced hormones are really key here and we can use nature to our advantage and, um, and sometimes bioidentical hormones, especially on the tissues that are most effective affected like our um, vulva for instance. So we will talk more about this in future videos. I look forward to your feedback. Please ask me any questions. I love to hear from you in my community. Share this video with, what's go with your friends and let them know what's going on with their body. Nothing to fear, just um, another stage of life. I look forward to seeing you more.